In order to really bring out the tenderness in Reacher, it had to be the woman's voice. We had to have Jen do it. Really that is irresistible as a kind of triangulation. The, the meaning is hyper-masculine, the voice is hyper-feminine, and therefore you sort of divorce the emotion of the song from gender. You know, it just is what it is. Being the voice of Jack Reacher, some of that has just been putting myself in his headspace, imagining that I'm in that place when I'm tracking the vocal. The technicality of where that attitude comes from, like landing hard on a consonant or forging through to the end of a note without letting up for a second until that note's done. There's this impression that the high note is the exciting part of a song, but you know, it's a male character and it's not so much about where that note is on the register as where it is in the scale, wherever you are. So I'm tending to write and sing in a place that's more comfortable in my range. And, uh, and it just, it feels good bringing it down a little bit. We thought it might be cool to have uh, Scott singing on the chorus of Canvas. We haven't had any male vocal, but have a feminine and masculine voice on that. I think that's only fair because Scott wrote those lines. Yeah. yeah. The best co-writers remember what everybody did. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, damn it, I didn't do that. <laughs> I know.